This is not a video that I ever wanted to make. Neither is this video satire. I mean it when I say that the new Ticonderoga pencil is junk. It's garbage. Ticonderoga, I'm sorry, but I'm breaking up with you after a 20 plus year relationship. Over the course of that time, you've established in me trust. Now, your claim to be the world's best pencil has always been specious at best, but tentatively, I've been using it for those 20 some years because it was the best that I found, but that's no longer the case. You managed to slide this in over the last five or so years as if nobody noticed, but I did. Proudly on the front, it mentions that this is 100% cedar wood. This is no small detail. The newer Ticonderogas don't use cedar wood. They use, what do they call it, Qu premium or quality wood or some marketing nonsense, but it's not the same. It's not a small detail, it matters. This tiny detail matters so much so that after having featured your product in hundreds of videos, I will now be actively badmouthing it. Why is it so important to use cedar in a pencil? Why is it not just some secondary marketing detail that doesn't matter much? Let's go to the sharpener and I'll show you. This is my sharpener. There are not many like it and this one is mine. The golf ball is for ergonomics and the model itself is some 15 year old Exacto brand. It sharpens to somewhere around 15 or 16 degrees and watch how much effort I'll have to invest into sharpening one of the old-fashioned Ticonderogas. This is a 100% cedar one. It's held loosely in the hand and I apply only gentle pressure and back it off ever so gently. It's so delicate. Look at the fineness of this point. This is not just a precision instrument. This is the precision instrument in my shop. This thing marks down to the 64th. And watch this. Again, this is the 100% cedar one. No trickery involved. Look. How? How can it survive an impact on concrete like that? With only minor damage to the tip. And the internal graphite is still intact. There are no fractures inside. You want to know the answer? It's because it's cedar. Cedar is soft. It's flexible. It absorbs the impact. There is no substitute for it, no matter how, quote, premium your wood is. No, I am not going to run a control test so that you can see how junky the new pencils are. You can find out for yourself if you buy them. But suffice it to say that after sharpening four of them, three of them were turned to nubs. And because the wood is harder, it put a lot of wear on my very old pencil sharpener. I'm not willing to break my equipment or go through the frustration of giving so much time to a product that claims to be the world's best. I understand that manufacturing costs have risen. If it were the case that it became untenable to keep the price point of your product at where it was, then raise the price. That's something that I can accept. What I can't accept is the snake-like business practice of replacing something that I have known and loved and depended on with something that's totally inferior. Ticonderoga, our relationship is over. I am now actively seeking a replacement product. Commenters, if you can find an all-seater pencil that isn't ridiculously expensive and that can perform like the old-fashioned Ticonderoga, please suggest it here. And Ticonderoga, I extend you the same invitation. Return to manufacturing my beloved product, and I will happily redact this video. In the meantime, consumers, until you see the proud proclamation, 100% cedar wood, don't buy the product. Replacing a product that's at an optimum with something that's lesser quality, that's not an easy trick to pull off. And in the case of a cedar pencil, it isn't just a difference that we can feel, it's something that we can actually smell.